Welcome to my channel, Mainframe Concepts, where we talk about mainframe concepts. And today we will be comparing COBOL with other languages, specifically Java, Perl, and Python. We want to run four programs with the same requirements and compare their performance. And the logic is to increment a variable to 1 million and to do this 10,000 times. And the purpose is to test how much processing resources are used by each of these languages. Here are four programs, each in these four different languages. And you have COBOL, Java, Perl, and Python. And what the programs do is that they basically increment from 0 to 1 million, 10,000 times. And each are coded in their own languages using their own rules. So first we would compile a COBOL program. And after compiling, we would run it. And the time in the command just shows us like how much time is being used. There you see the result. So here you will see the uh, time, the user time, the system time, and the total time. This is now we compile the Java program. And after compiling it, we run it. We will immediately see the result. And it's that fast. We can see now the statistics here. Next, we will run a Perl script. And several minutes later, eight minutes almost, we see the result. And yeah, and these are the, the statistics. And then our next program is the Python program. And a few minutes later, you see less than eight minutes, you see it come back. And those are the statistics for that program. We're now going to run these four programs six times so as to get a better idea of how they perform so that we don't get a one-off spike. So here we are, we're going to just run them one after the other and several minutes later or more accurately about an hour and a half later, you have the result of the a run and you see all these statistics. Now we'll try to make sense of the data and what we want to do is to get the data that are relevant. So we'll have to save that in a uh, text document. And we will call it results.txt. So after saving it, we are going to remove all the irrelevant lines from that file. Now we're going to import that into a spreadsheet. And here we have imported the spreadsheet and we have shown the various charts that are created from the data. So here we see that Java was the fastest in user time. Python was the second fastest. And here for the system time, COBOL uses almost zero. Java is the second best. And here's the total time. Java is the fastest. COBOL is the second. Perl and Python are the worst. And how busy was this processor? CPU least busy with Java. And here you have the summary of these four charts with Java coming on top. So with this one, um, we see that Java was the fastest. Python is the slowest. And as we said, this is expected because uh, Python and Perl are interpreted programs, whereas Java and COBOL are compiled. So they don't need to read the code and then interpret the code. That's why Java is the fastest and COBOL is also relatively quite fast. And this one, the system time is actually the time that is used by the processor to process system requests by the program. Here you'll see COBOL is almost zero, except that on the fifth run, uh, I don't know what happened there, but that's the reason why 
we run this six times just to make sure that we don't get one-off results, we can actually disregard the fifth one. But if you see COBOL is consistently, uh, doesn't even register. But what's surprising is that Java is using a lot of CPU seconds, even if it did not use a lot of processing time. And total time is the is the sum of the CPU time and also of the system time. And as you can see, based on the scale, the Perl and Python, they're quite huge. And as we said, it's understandable. COBOL, you can see um, the blip is almost consistent and Java doesn't even register here. Now this slide is interesting because uh, we want to see how busy the CPU is or was when the programs were executing. Uh, what's interesting is that Java is again, what is better or best among the four and uh, COBOL, Perl and Python, they are almost tied, eating up the CPU for 100%. So now we have a uh, summary of these four graphs. In the user time, Java is the best. And uh, of course, COBOL is the second. The total time or, or the system time, COBOL is the best, but Java is uh, using quite a few of those system time. And the total time, as you can see, is almost similar to the one in the user time because there's actually minimal system time being used by all these four um, programs. And the last one, the CPU usage, you'll see that Java is the best. So in, in, in these four charts, what we can see, or what we can conclude is Java is a fairly good programming language, but uh, COBOL comes in quite reasonably. And uh, let, let's say if you have an existing application already and you want to convert it or downsize it off the mainframe, then you don't even need to rewrite them. Uh, you can actually just reuse them because the performance will be acceptable compared to Java. You will be spending less time converting the code. Maybe the uh, difference in terms of performance would probably be more tolerable or acceptable rather than having to rewrite all those programs. So one of the things I want to point out is uh, the use of the, or the percentage of CPU usage. And as you can see, this is comparing the system usage time and the total time. Three programs, COBOL, Perl, and Python, their system usage does not even register here. So what that means is that all the processing done is done within the program. Whereas in Java, you can see that the system time sometimes takes 35% of the total processing time. So what it means is that it's passing processing to the system, which is why the system is it's using more of the system to process, uh, to do its processing, which is why it, which can probably explain why it's more efficient because all those instructions are done in the system level. So what can we conclude about this experiment or this exercise? First is that among those tested, Perl and Python are most inefficient because they are interpreted languages, as we have said. They do have their own purpose. I personally use Perl. I like Perl because it's easy to use and uh, it's it's quite powerful. But in terms of we're talking of inefficiency, I'm not in any way saying that they cannot be used or they suck. I personally, as I said, use Perl quite a lot in my work. So it's just that in terms of efficiencies, if you have like long running programs, you might want to consider not using these interpreted languages. The most efficient language is Java in terms of execution. However, 40% of its processing is done by the system. Let's say you have a, a, a short program, then maybe Java is probably a good candidate for that. But if you have a long running program, say a program that runs for hours or that processes a lot of IOs, then you might want to do some tests to look at the performance of Java. By the way, these tests are just for the performance. So it's CPU intensive. So it doesn't consider like IOs to databases or IOs to files or other system resources. I guess one of the conclusions we can have is uh, that COBOL is relatively a good candidate if you want to write some programs that, as I mentioned earlier, if you have any 
existing COBOL programs that are that you want to get off the mainframe, then you can just uh, do some tweaks to make it compatible with the COBOL compiler of the mainframe, and you don't even need to rewrite them. So COBOL is a good substitute, but it's probably, in terms of efficiency, Java is probably more efficient than COBOL. But again, uh, it all boils down to economics, like how much you are going to spend to convert your code. So that's it. Put any suggested topics on in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do anyway thank you bye